It's 3.54 a.m. And I had just waken out of the dream. And I received a message for the so-called foundational black Americans. I'm not going to tell you the entire dream because the entire dream is not worthy enough to repeat. But the words I heard coming out of the dream was, stop stealing the white man's image. Stop stealing the white man's image. The white man has stolen your soul. He had taken your people, your ancestors into captivity. And while in captivity, he stole things that were quite meaningful to you, to the world, and to the universe. He stole your soul. He stole your family. He stole your culture, your name, your religion, your identity, your birthright. He stole your land, left you bare and naked. On the bottom begging until this very day. The only thing that you was interested in was the white man's image. The white man took things that were meaningful. You took things that had no power, no strength, no valor. The only thing you wanted was his image, the white man's hair, the white man's language, sounding like the white man, dressing like the white man. You take pride in being like the white man. He put fear inside your heart. You destroy each other. You destroy your family. You destroy everything that is meaningful. He stole your soul. I always tell my sons, even from a very young age, never allow anyone inside your head. Once they're in your head, they're able to control you. They're able to manipulate you. They own you. Foundational black Americans are owned by the white man. The only thing that you find meaningful enough to steal is his image. You speak on reparations, but you do nothing about it. You are a loyal and committed Democrat. You rise when he tell you to rise. You protest. When he tell you to protest and you're content with his image, the message to foundational black Americans is stop stealing the white man's image. Until next time, I'm fearless.